Hey, good to see you. Um, and as a, as a reminder to everybody, if you have questions for Mike, go ahead and hit the, uh, the raised hand icon um, and we'll get started here. Questions for Michael. We're gonna we're gonna kick things off with a Paris Lawson, OKCThunder.com. Uh, go ahead, Paris. Hey, Mike. How you doing? Hey, I'm good, Paris. How are you? I'm doing well. A um, couple of questions for you. First one: How did it feel to just be back in the Thunder Ion today? Oh, it felt great. Yeah, it feels really good. And then, uh, second question for you. Obviously, you you have a lot of experience in the league, and so I'm just curious from your time and your experience with different organizations, different coaches. How valuable is it to have a guy like Mark Dagnall and kind of the character and mindset that he brings to this group? It's really valuable. I'm really excited for Mark. I think he's going to be a great head coach. Um, it was a pleasure working with him last year. Uh, throughout the year and uh, I'm super excited for him and for the organization and, and for the city and the fans uh, they're gonna they're gonna really like what Mark brings thank you Mike thank you Paris uh, next we're gonna go to uh, Joe Masada with the Oklahoman go ahead Joe yeah Mike um, can you just discuss your decision to pick up your player option and come back for a second season and I, I know this is only going to be your second year with the team but now you're you're like one of the thunder veterans at this point with so much roster turnover what what is it like being back with the new group it's great um you know i'm really excited to work with mark and um i love it here i really do i love the organization uh i love what it stands for um and uh i love the city here uh, it's, it was a really fun year last year uh and i'm really grateful to be back for another year Thanks, Mike. Uh, next up, uh, Nick Gallo, OKCThunder.com. Go ahead, Nick. Mike, when you were young in the league, uh, you were coming into the Hawks, a, a team that you were trying to crack, you know, 10 minutes uh, a night. When you look at the kind of the wide track, the, the opening for playing time for young players on this roster, uh, what, what do you think that does for young guys who need that time, need that experience to really develop their games? Oh, it's huge. Experience is the biggest teacher, I think, when I look uh, back on my career and um, just for young players in general. So I think when you mix in good player development, uh, you know, good work with film, um, you know, good skill work, work with the strength coaches, um, and then you add in that experience on top of it, in-game experience. Uh, if you're getting the right recovery in, you know, making sure you're taking care of your body, uh, I think that's a, a perfect combination for, for developing young players. So I think it'll be a great opportunity for a lot of guys this year. Jenny Carlson with the Oklahoman. Go ahead. Hey, Mike, how are you? Hey, I'm good, Jenny. How are you? Good. Hey, so I know you were around Mark last year uh, when he was an assistant, but can you just kind of uh, describe his, his approach um, just how, and maybe it's, Maybe you've seen his demeanor change as he's taken over the head coaching role, um, even in these uh, short days you've been around him now. But what was what was it like last year? How did you sort of view his um, his approach and, and what is it now? Um, last year, I, I thought he was very aware, very thoughtful, um, very meaningful in his actions and words um, and just very in the moment during games. Uh, I saw him a lot, you know, uh, working with players on, with film uh, before and after games and working with him on the court, um, just very purposeful on, the, on what he did and um, very curious uh, to get to know players, which I think goes a long way uh, in the NBA where you have, you know, a lot of moving pieces, a lot of turnover on rosters. Sometimes you can just feel – um, you know, maybe lost uh, getting moved around, but uh, I really noticed that with him last year, and I thought that was really special. So, um, as far as this year, it's only been a couple of days, and we haven't even had a full team practice yet. But, um, you know, what I think makes him special is that he's not going to change much, um, and, and that's you know, he's he is who he is. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm just really excited for him, I couldn't, couldn't be more deserving. Hey, I wanted to ask you sort of on a different track, but sort of in the same vein of, of development um, that he's been so strong at. Um, you've got some rookies coming in um, that basically had no off season with the team, the way COVID was and everything. Um, how, 
How challenging do you anticipate that is? I mean, when you think about your, you know, first months in the league, basically before training camp starts, how important was that to you? And, and how is that, how's that going to be for those guys? I, I've thought about that too. And um, it'll be different, but I don't think that's a bad thing. Um, you know, I thought about my experience getting drafted and then playing summer league and then having some time off and then going into the season. There are good parts to that. And, you know, maybe there are not, I don't want to say bad parts, but it's just different. And so I think when you go right into training camp, um, yeah, you don't have the summer league. You don't uh, have that window, you know, to get adjusted to uh, the city as much and, um, you know, kind of get your feet wet a little bit with that summer league. But, you know, in turn, you're going right into training camp um, and you're able to just kind of hit the ground running. And sometimes in life, that's better just to go right into something and, um, and just kind of get thrown in there. And then, uh, you know, learning from that experience. So it'll be interesting for them. Uh, and I think, you know, as veteran players, we just got to, um, you know, lead by example um, and, and help them out whenever we can, because it will be, you know, it will be thrown in there much quicker. Um, so, so it'll be a total team effort. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. Next up, Andrew Schleck with The Athletic and Down to Dunk. Go ahead, Andrew. Hey, Mike, uh, can, you, can you tell me who's in your workout group? Uh, me and Mike Miller. Is that one on one right now? One on one right now. Okay. Yeah. You guys not started groups of four yet? Uh, no, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Um, what What's been the experience so far? I know it's just kind of a, a strange start to the season, and it's probably going to prove to be kind of a weird season overall. But what's been your impression so far? Um. Yeah. I mean, it's it, it's been a quick turnaround. Uh, but I'm excited because it's going to be as the bubble was a, a unique experience, this will be a unique experience too, with the, the travel now, playing in a lot of arenas where, you know, there won't be fans or limited fans. Um, and yeah, so I'm just trying to embrace it, you know, uh, take it one day at a time, but I feel kind of similar to when we were going to the bubble where it just felt like, hey, you know, this is, this is unique and this probably won't happen again, so. Um, it's different, but I like different. Yeah. Mike Miller's new. What are your, what are your thoughts on, on him as a coach so far? A big fan so far. Uh, second day working out with him, uh, obviously, you know, coming from New York, uh, that's huge experience, um, for, for us as players and for this team and organization. So i um, super thrilled to work, to work with him. Thanks Mike. A couple, couple more for you here. Next, we're going to uh, go back to Joe Masada at the Oklahoma go ahead, Joe. Yeah, Mike, you, you sort of touched on this a little bit, but losing some veterans like Chris and, you know, Dennis and Steven, like how do you see your role as a veteran changing on this team versus maybe what it was last year when there were a lot of you guys who had, who had been around for a while? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I think the leading by example is going to be big this year for the veterans. Um, and that's, you know, playing hard, consistently being focused, ready to play. You know, we got a 72-game season coming up. Uh, in a shorter window so you know that taking care of your body doing the little things is going to be huge it's huge this year um you know with the minutes going around so uh and I think with those guys leaving I mean we're, we're going to miss them big time for sure um but you know with the, with the veteran guys here like I said we have to really lead by example uh with the way this season is going to shake out and to that point um Sam talked about this the other day but the path has sort of been cleared for Shea to be that primary option for you guys how do you envision him sort of taking on that that role um shade's a great player and a, and a great person um and really humble and he works really hard so uh, i know he's gonna take advantage of the opportunity um and i'm happy for him um i love playing with him i know a lot of the guys do uh and i'm happy i'm excited for darius basley too i think he you know, made some great strides in the bubble uh in this off season which is uh maturation so uh I'm, I'm excited for both of them uh next up we're going to go to uh spinozzi at the sports animal spinozzi if you could go ahead and unmute your line uh, you are table is yours hey mike um you're obviously just from your decisions uh previously in deciding to stay with the thunder you're not a me 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 kind of guy accepting every role you've ever received uh playing in the league but 
prior to getting in the league, I mean, obviously you're a great basketball player and you've succeeded at a high level everywhere you've ever played. So tell me, how excited are you with the opportunity that sits in front of you right now to be playing with this group of guys and being able to, look, I want to put up numbers. I want to succeed. I have all those things sitting here in front of me. So just coming into camp this year, it's kind of a different situation. How excited are you about this? No, I'm really excited. Uh, I think with, you know, the focus on player development this year that's going to go on um, with the young guys and um, just how the roster is in the season. I, I love that, the, um, you know, that method and uh, just, you know, working on your game each day, um, you know, seeing what worked, what didn't, being in good, great shape uh, and playing good team basketball. And then, you know, you can live with the results. But uh, I think, you know, the way things have shaped out, uh, you know, so far, and uh, how I envision them going forward. I'm, I'm really excited for this year. Thanks, Mike. Last one for you. We're going to go to uh, Brady Trantham at the franchise. Go ahead, Brady. Hey, Mike. Uh, going back to Joe's question about SGA, um, obviously SGA is going to be a little bit uh, – he's at a different stage than what I'm about to ask you. Um, when you started out your career with Atlanta, Dennis Schroeder was also a rookie. So I'm just curious – are there any lessons that you're taking just from memories of running with a young point guard and Dennis back in Atlanta that you're now trying to take as a veteran going up with SGA, who isn't a rookie, but this is his first foray as the primary ball handler, according to what we've all heard thus far? Yeah, um, you know, I think uh, like I was alluding to earlier, you know, with, with how long the season is and Shades of Pro. Um, but you know, we gotta, it's gotta be a team effort. Um, you know, she's a great scorer, a great playmaker. Um, but you know, there's going to be, you know, a lot of focus on him this year. So, um, you know, I'm excited for Lou this year too. He made great strides in the bubble, um, really played very, very well. So, uh, you know, collectively it's gotta be a collective effort, but, you know, going back to Shea, uh, I'm happy for him because, uh, I know he loves, you know, he loves, um, he loves the moment. He loves being that go-to guy uh, and he's great at it. So, um, you know, we got to, you know, feed him, uh, give him space to work, but at the same time, you know, pick him up uh, on both sides of the ball and, and be there as a whole team. Thanks, Mike. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate the time today. Yeah. Thanks, John. Yeah.